Are you ready to be a guy in a mad age? What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Action Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Fun for Five. That's right, we have reached Atari VCS Thursday, and it's time to go back to the store because there's no new releases right now. Or maybe, maybe there is. Maybe some stuff that just dropped, but I'm not here right now. I'm actually not even in the country. What? What is happening? Anyway, we've pre-recorded this one and next week's Atari VCS Thursday, where we're going to be playing this time, Mad Age and this guy. So what does that say? It's by Atomic Wolf and Mad Age and this guy is a dynamic arcade game that combines elements from the classic games you remember and love. I'm intrigued already. You will meet enemies on your way through a world of caves, ice, and fortresses by steam-driven robots. Okay. Recover the stolen plans and defeat evil. Sounds pretty good to me. Three ninety nine on the store. Um, so, I mean, mega cheap, arcade style. Let's uh, let's hit this launch button right here, and then get into this. Let's go. All right. Got that like steampunky vibe with the cool little music in the background. Take it down a little. There we go. Cool. All right. It's Mad Age and this guy. I'm going to hit the button and we'll see what's going on. This is the Age of Steam. It's a time of unprecedented technology developments never seen before. Nice. However, the world has another side, a side not everyone is aware of. My mad scientists, uh oh. When someone mysteriously broke the Academy of Science and stole secret plans to modern machines. No one doubted who is responsible. Oh, so they already they already know. When evil and deception grow strength, he will come. He is this guy. <laughs> a secret agent, huh? All right, let's start the journey through caves, glacier, and up the secret for fortress on the hill. Don't waste time. Hurry up and save the world. All right. We got a little story there. All right, so you got to do the caves first, and then the Arctic, and then the castle. Okay. There's a duck in the cave. I don't know why. All right, so there's. it looks like there's 18 stages. All right, let's see. Let's jump in. I don't know why he just ran to the left. Try and collect all the boxes with the bombs and keys in it. Information about inform, information about the amount of owned objects is in the upper left hand corner. Okay. Alright, now I have three bombs. Now I have one of two gears. Set up a bomb, press A. All right. What if I don't want to? Uh, do what? I think I have to. All right. Well, what if I? Oh, maybe I don't have to. Can I block this guy in? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, he got me. Wonder if I could like pass it this my way through it. Let's see. I mean, it could just set up a, a thing, but at the same time, I, I, I'm intrigued by the possibility of not... Ah! Alright. Not moving fast enough. Yeah, he definitely is. He definitely is gonna get you. So, what if I just drop the bomb <clears throat> and get that enemy out of here? All 
I wonder if I could just do it this way. Well, I mean, he's gonna, he's still gonna get me. So what if I just do this? Ah, I got him. All right. And I do believe that's what you're supposed to do. Collect all the parts, eliminate all robots, and finish the level. Okay, so you do have to actually figure out a way of getting the robots. It is a it's a requirement of the level. Okay. Oh, and there you go. One of one, one. All right, let's go. Is there a robot in each? Oh, there's multiple robots here. Yeah. All right. I do know about that. Special mission is to collect all the boxes. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, that's that's what we're trying to do. We're all about it. Oh! <laughs> hey. I saw, I saw it, and it, it, that could have happened. But um, yeah, that was that was wild. All right. To open doors, you need keys. Okay. What if you just? What if I got you? Got him. Nice. Go through here. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna get it, guy. Oh, man. All right, it's pretty satisfying, actually. I gotta say. Finish the level, got the couple, got the parts, got the robots. All right, let's go. Next stage. I mean, maybe we'll do two more. It's funny that the ducky, the rubber ducky is riding with you. I don't know. if he's. I don't know if he's like your accomplice. Seems very destructive to be just running around the cave, just blowing everything up. But hey, that's the game. <clears throat> no, I guess I have to. Do I have to blow that up? It's weird. All right, I guess I have to blow this one up too. I can go down here. All right. I can do that. Come here. Got him. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I don't know. I mean, am I supposed to get this guy? Like, I don't have to. Looks like I can just, look like, looks like I can just leave. Oh. Got him. Got all the parts, and we're good to go. So now it's ramping up, like level three. And then you're getting all sorts of robots. You got, you know, collecting all sorts of different parts, not just one per. Um, you know, you only get credit uh, for finishing the stage by completing each objective on the bottom bar. But it's not like, oh, you have to just get one in each stage or something. So, huh. Pretty cool. Whoa, whoa! I didn't even do anything. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but I'm out of here because that's gonna that's probably gonna be big. Whoa, whoa. Um let's push this over here. Because that laser thing definitely doesn't seem very friendly. Um, all right, it looks pretty good to me. I got all the enemies. I got the gears. I'm good. Ready to rock. Let's say, what do you, what do you say? One more? Yeah, let's go. Well, one more. One more. Unless this one's really short. That laser thing, that was pretty rad. Uh, I'm gonna do this and then run. Oh, I don't have any bombs. All right, now I have some bombs. Now I'm gonna do this and run. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, it's still going? Oh, no. That was that was cool. That was very satisfying. All right, so I got to get over here and get these parts. There's another key in here. All right. Can I just... There we go. Yeah, you can't get it. You can't go to me, man. Because, oh, really? This guy's pretty smart. Come on, come on down here. Get me. Ah. All right. So the AI is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty smart on here. I'm just gonna do this again because that was pretty good. Let me run. I wonder if we could do multiple bombs. He didn't know what to do with it. So you can do multiple bombs. All right. I'll put one here. Get more bombs. Go in here. Key. More bombs. I wonder what I'm supposed to do in here. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Got him. Oh, that's the exit. Got it. All right. Um, all right. Just dropping this right here. Yeah, that's that's a that's that's definitely a thing. All right. And I can just leave. I wonder if I, I don't know if I can keep the key or not, but I don't need to open the door. I can just go. I'm, I'm done. Got it. All right, cool. So that was five levels of this game uh, in pretty rapid succession. Um, that's pretty neat. Let's go to the wrap up and see what we got about this game. So there you have it, folks. That was Mad Age and this guy on the Atari VCS, courtesy of that fine Atari VCS store. We're really chipping away. I went and did some. I went and did some research, and uh, we're like, I mean, if I really wanted to stretch it, we're, we're like a month, a month away. By the end of August, I'll run out of games that aren't, um, you know, the single download stuff that's on the vault or the DOS box stuff. Like, so I don't know. Maybe I'll have to start doing a DOS box. I don't know. But um, very cool. I'll have to start thinking about what's going to happen because that's actually coming soon. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about, did I find the fun in Mad Age and this guy? There it is. There's that fun. Totally found it. This was really cool. I, I like the action puzzly kind of games. Um, you know, I like the fact that it does make you think. I like the fact that there is some programmed AI in some of the enemies. It looked a little um silly at first in the first couple levels i'm not gonna lie uh so i'm like all right well i mean it's fun you can just keep going and you know it's like a time waster or whatever but you know they start moving around and now you get to figure out where you're gonna place the bombs um you know very heavily uh influenced i mean they say about like buy arcade games you know and love i mean if that arcade game is Bomberman, then yeah <laughs> then yeah um it's totally like like one of those, I mean, except for the fact that they're not all coming after you. Now, like maybe in later stages, the enemies now have bombs, and now they're, they're dropping bombs, and you're dropping bombs, and everything's blowing up, and you know, then it's okay, very cool, very cool. But um, yeah, this is awesome. I I had a great time. I had a great time playing this, and I will I play it more. Like this, the fun for five thing is like you know, play the game for a little bit, get that first imp impression. 
or you know sometimes second or third impression 270,001 if you're talking about asteroids for example um it, you know and, and, but then tell you like hey you know does this version of the game like will i want to play it yes or no that's all the whole point of this right and yes you know not only is the fun found but i will want to play this again and and probably will um, I think what's going to happen after we get through all the fun for fives until we get our, our new steady uh, drops of games on the Atari VCS stores, I'm going to go revisit some of these games and play them more. Like exactly the way I was going to say, like, oh, yeah, you know, like I totally want to check more of this out. I don't know. That time's coming. And we're going to check out uh, more of these games in a format that I am not sure of. Yeah, you know, Will it be a video where I just play some more and play some more gameplay? Or will it be, will it be where I play some more pe with people? like you know in an open chat on a on a live stream or something i think maybe um i think that that's kind of a cool thing let's check out this game and answer some questions and you know take some take some hints from the chat like tell me where to go and do whatever that'd, that'd be kind of fun um what do you guys think though what do you guys think about all of that let me know down below do you want me to do something like that when i finally get through all of this stuff do we go full community on atari vcs um and start messing around with this thing you know like tell me what to do when on a live chat and like, let's go yeah i totally do that um i it's just another excuse to play some more games right um as long as as long as everyone's having fun and want it and wants to try it out i'm all for it so definitely let me know what you guys think about that in the comments let me know what you think about man age and this guy i think that was a cool thing four bucks you know like i, I bought a game uh was it three three months ago on nintendo switch for a dollar you know, and had 30 stages and I had a blast. I mean, this is 18. And what is there? Three levels of maybe 18 or more um, levels inside of it. I mean, for four bucks, I mean, that's that's huge. It's awesome. Um, this would be another cool game, too. Not to, you know, bleed into Evercade Friday. But, I mean, I could see this game managing this guy on an Indie Heroes collection or something like that. Just saying. Just saying. I could totally play that on that. But. I've got on a VCS and that's where I'm playing right now. So again, leave your thoughts down below. Um, always love talking to you. Always love hanging out. Thanks so much for checking us out. And until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm rich. And we'll see you later next week's game. is going to be pretty cool. Just saying. I'm really looking forward to it. All right. Take it easy guys. Take it, I